going to install a anti-clutch knock ring uh, that you can get from many different suppliers. Um, this is going to be a install on a 23 Sidewinder. So the first thing you're gonna do is pull off your side panel. Set it on the side. Grab a clutch puller and a 22 millimeter socket. Pull your center bolt. Put in your clutch puller. Pop off. Pull your center bolt or clutch puller. Now, a little trick that I have, I never pull the belt off. I actually just pull it, the clutch off of the taper and I go towards the prime or secondary. And then I can just pull the belt right off. Get my big hands in there. So, you set that on the side. Right here's the PTO. We're going to pull the PTO. Now, I suggest warming up the machine. Um, this has been warmed up for a little while until it comes up to full temp. I can feel the heat in the PTO. We're going to pull off these 10 millimeter screws. on the side. Now we're going to pull this stub shaft out. Now I have a little tool that I have that will pull this out. It threads right in there and it'll go into a slide hammer. Or you can take a washer, put it on your clutch bolt, and then you can also use the slide hammer with a two jaw or three jaw and use the slide hammer that way. But I have, since I have the tool, I'm going to show you with the, uh, the easy way to do it. So you thread this little guy in here like this. threads on there and it's going to come out pretty easily you can see it's already coming and there it is there you have her out so what we're going to do next is we're going to clean this up and then i'm going to press in the ring and i'll show you how that's all done Okay, what I'm going to do is you can see there's one tooth that's flat right there. I'm going to mark it right here with a Sharpie. And then I'm going to do the same on the PTO that's in my hand. So when I'm putting it back together, I kind of know approximately where that is. And the same thing on the PTO itself. Right here is the, you can see there's like one that's not as deep as the others. So I'm gonna just kinda mark it like that. Work my way that way. And then I'm gonna put it on the PTO like that. So I can kinda get close when I have it all put together. So here is the ring that prevents the knocking in the clutches. What I believe this does is once this is pressed in and you pack it full of grease, it becomes like a fluid coupler and the fluid dampens the tolerance difference in the splines. I'm only guessing here, it's kind of my theory, 
So installing this, you wanna make sure that the O-ring is to the top side. And there's a little line on here, if you can see, that line is gonna go into, it's gonna go right in there. It's gonna kinda of sit in there just like that. And then I'm gonna press this on. And the way I do it is I flip it over and then I press her straight down until she's bottom. And you'll see down here, it locks right on till it's bottomed. And now that she's out, you'll see it's pressed in perfectly flush. And now it's ready for grease. So um, this is the bag of grease that comes with it. I usually just take a squeegee and I push all the grease to the corner. And then I take a scissor. Then I don't have to get this all over my hands. And I create like a little grease gun, kind of, or if you want to frost the cake, but I wouldn't suggest using the grease. And then you just kind of shoot this onto the splines. And you're still going to get it all over your hands. You want to put a nice coating on the splines. put yeah I usually put the whole bag in there I use a squeegee get all the grease out of this little baggie that I can Basically, you're going to fill the splines is the way I do it. And then I keep a little bit on the end. And just like that, kind of clean it up. So I got the line here and the line on the shaft. And I line those two up. And if it's not lined up, it will not slide back. And it would not even go this far if it wasn't lined up. So once you get it to that point, you just push on a little bit. Then you go ahead and take the screws. Stick these little guys back in there. These are gonna be torqued to 8.7 foot pounds or 140, 104 inch pounds. And once I get that done, then I will show you how I put the clutch back on. We're gonna put the clutch back on. I'll show you a little trick with the belt. Um, any excess grease, I actually, it's gonna actually uh, pull back to where the O-ring is. There's a void there that can take a little grease. And any grease that's on the spline, if it's too much, it'll get pushed back. There's like a pocket in the back um, of the stub, sh where the stub shaft goes into the end of the crank. So no, no worry about that. And that's, that's a dry sump system, which there is oil that's gonna flow around in there. So no worries about a little excess grease. We're gonna take the primary. And what I do is I take the sheaves and I put the sheaves together like that. And then I just set the clutch belt back on into the grooves of the secondary. And then I just push it right over the PTO stub like just like that and you don't have to worry about messing with the belt so now what we're going to do is we're going to set the clutch we will torque it first to 108 foot pounds to set it onto the pto then we will loosen it and then reset it at 43 foot pounds just to finish it up now that it's torqued, uh, 108 foot-pounds, release it, 43 foot-pounds. You're basically all ready to go. Put your side panel on and give it a test.